Hi guys, so here I am. I'm uh, three weeks out from the Arnold Classic. It is uh, very stressful. Um, not stressful because of getting up on stage. Um, I'm stressed because I'm always stressed, no matter what I do, because I want to be the best that I possibly can be. Um, there are a lot of things that have been going on lately, and um, I wouldn't have done it any other way, just know that. Um, but I really wanted to talk to you guys all about what's been going on and how I'm preparing for the Arnold. And maybe this, if you're watching this and you want to prepare for a competition or you want to do some comp um, fitness athletes, um, maybe this will help you. Um, I am going to be starting my sixth year as a figure uh, slash fitness because I have done fitness before with the, the gymnastics and all that. But I'm... I, I've decided to keep going only in figure, um, so it's my sixth year, and I never thought I would be doing this for so long. Uh, one of the reasons, however, is that I have made my my competition life, my um, figure uh, athlete lifestyle, a lifestyle. So that's that's the big thing. Is that there's a lot of people, a lot of girls, guys that are preparing for competitions and they go all out on their first one, starve themselves, um, some end up in the hospital on like the day of the competition uh, for either uh, low blood sugar, dehydrated and all these things and this is where it, it worries me because right now fitness is a really big trend. Um, six years ago in Gatineau, there was not very many people here that did fitness competitions, and I I don't want to say I started a trend, but ever since I've started, there's a lot of people in my surroundings that have actually competed as well, or right now that are looking to compete. Um, one of my advice for everybody is to make this a lifestyle, meaning that don't go all out your first competition. My first competition, I look at the pictures and I'm like, whoa, like I, I can see that evolution, I can see the progress that I've done um, and I still came second in that competition but I'm nowhere near the same shape or size that I was then and I've progressed every time. I've had bad uh, turnouts, I've had really good ones um, but the important thing is that from each competition you learn and you grow not only as an athlete but as a person and one thing that I would want everybody to do is do it healthy. I know there's a lot of people that think that competing is really bad for your health. Um, I, I disagree. I completely disagree. For me, it's brought in a lot of positive. Also negative in the way that um, I'm a gymaholic. <laughs> I love working out. Um, the hardest thing for me was to pace myself, was to learn to recuperate, learn to to recognize the signs of my body then okay you need recuperation because um, it's not always the best thing to do the more you do in the gym isn't always the best sometimes those recuperation days are actually the most beneficial so all of that said um, I really want you guys to understand that I'm actually at this sixth year I can really say that I am living the lifestyle um, about when did we get back? Four days ago, I got back from uh, my wedding down south, all inclusive, um, and that's I'm right, I'm at three weeks from the Arnold Classic. Um, it wasn't planned that way initially. Uh, we planned the wedding, and then I found out the dates of the Arnold Classic, um, but that didn't really stop me. I didn't want it to stop me. I'm somebody who I'll finish the Arnold Classic no matter where I I place myself. Um, I will be so proud of myself to have. The, all these obstacles right now are going to make me so much stronger at the competition and after the competition. I'm not going to blame or I'm not going to put any excuses because my physique is exactly where I want it to be. Um, I'm actually really happy of how I feel and how I look after one week down south. Um, I've had all my family to support me. My friends, my athletes, they are there to look up to me and that's what I want to keep doing. Um, you don't want to go into a competition saying, I want to place first. 
obviously everybody who competes they they wish they they dreamed place first but in these competitions you never know what to expect you never know who is going to be next to you so you have to prepare yourself and compare yourself only to you um to the last competition what i look like and what i want to look like now so i'm really comparing my physique to the canadians uh which basically gave me the opportunity to participate in the arnold um I placed top three at the Canadian, so it gives me the invitation to go to the Arnold Classic. So I was always saying, okay, well, the Arnold is my last competition. Um, it's really hard on my body. Um, but I'm, I've come to realize after this wedding week, and it took a long time to realize, but I live the lifestyle. So if I want to compete in July... I can probably compete in July. My my physique is pretty stable all year round and then I just cut down a little bit on the carbs, on fat and increase my cardio a bit before a competition and bang I'm ready stage ready. So this the whole thing that I wanted to do today is for you to realize that a lot of people have been saying you're crazy, you're getting married one month before the Arnold Classic and actually it just shows me that I'm stronger that I'm actually able to do all this and still compete actually live my life and that's one thing that a lot of competitors do is they put everything aside for the competition and I'm the first one to have done it in my in my beginning um, I would have not went out with my friends I didn't want to have any temptations in front of me um, having gone through an all-inclusive one week I now know that I can definitely do anything before a competition. Um, obviously all the temptations were there. Um, not only food wise but relaxing wise, not doing anything all day. It was very tempting but I got up every morning 6.30 down south. We went for a run. I had people there to support me. Doe was there to run with me so it was great and I did have my coach down there um, to support but he's our best friend now so it's not a, he didn't even act like a coach he really wanted me to decompress and actually let loose and have fun on this trip and not just think about competition so all this said um, I really wanted to give you an idea so 21 days from the Arnold Classic we are leaving in actually 20 days um, so less than three weeks uh, what's the plan is as usual um, I'm gonna increase cardio or basically maintain cardio because I've been doing quite a bit um, and decreasing a little bit of the fat consumption uh, maintaining my carbs I work really well with carbs so that I'm not touching that I've tried every diet there is and I've realized that it's really just a number of calories that are going in and the number of calories that are being burned uh, during my day that really work for me so try and figure that out. There's a lot of different athletes. There's a lot of different diets. Um, I hate that word diet because it really makes me think that I can't have anything else but what's on the meal plan. Um, but my meal plan is I love it. I'm anxious for every meal. I'm not forcing myself to eat something that I don't want and I'm not really having any cravings. So um, with that said, I'll stop talking now, but uh, I really want to do another update, um, probably every in one week, so we'll see how my physique changes. I am going to take pictures every Saturday mornings, um, possibly post them, I'm not sure yet, um, but it'll all be on my website, because uh, I do want you guys to see what it is like a competition prep, what I've changed and how my physique will change with those little changes that I do in my lifestyle. So maybe it will help you for competitions or just for your simple um, goals that you have in life. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. If it takes me a while to respond, it's not that I don't want to respond, it's that I am very busy right now. So, um, but yeah, with that said, I will see you soon. Bye.